As what's going on? So uh, this is Jay Garrow. Uh, I'm. This is my YouTube channel, and I am going to be doing a quick uh, tutorial on. Uh, actually, this is an issue that I had a few weeks ago, where basically I wanted to screen record my um, Ableton Live Nine project. So if you, if I show you my my project that I've been working on. Um, or actually, just just um, yeah, my deep house project I've been working on. It this is this is it here, and here it is. I wanted basically to be able to record myself playing through this. Um, you won't be able to hear this, but I wanted to hear myself play through the track, um, and for my computer to be able to pick up the sound coming from Ableton. Now, the story I'm making is specifically tailored for Ableton, but you can use it with any other digital audio workstation. You just need to ha know how to go to your preferences in your digital audio workstation and be able to alter the output um, source. So, putting Ableton aside for now, um, yeah, I couldn't record using. Um, my just my computer's um, input. Um, sorry, my just my computer's uh, default sound system. So basically, uh, if you click a new screen recording in QuickTime, and it'll come up uh, a little box here. Um, I can't demonstrate here, which is annoying. But and you could just select the input, um, the audio input device, which would be your key, um, computer's um, input microphone. Um, and that would be that, and you'd be able to screen record, but you wouldn't be able to hear any audio coming from the computer. So, like a YouTube video or something, or if I played some music through iTunes, you wouldn't be able to hear that in a screen recording. Now, there is a way to bridge this, to fix this issue, um, and this is a program. Well, it's not really a program; it's more of a um, a widget kind of thing. Uh, it's called Soundflower. Now, you can download it from pretty much anywhere. Just type in Soundflower. I put a, actually I'll put a link in the description uh, in the description to where I got it from. Um, and you just install it. You have to restart your computer once you've installed it. But once it's done, uh, it installs and it you know goes into your uh, sorry goes into your applications here. You don't need to use it from there. You just the way to use it is you go to your system preferences. Under um, sound, and where it says output, you want to select Soundflower two channel, uh, and that's what it will, you know, that's what it'll um, it'll come up with once you've installed Soundflower. Don't worry about sixty four channel; that's not really useful. You just want the two channel. Um, so you select that, and you won't be able to hear anything come out of your speakers when you start playing something when you're doing a screen recording because it's going through Soundflower and not your internal speakers so don't worry about that um, so once you've selected that if you then go into QuickTime's uh, preferences when you click new screen recording and you select the the input the audio input device select Soundflower 2 channel as well so that the system preferences um, and your QuickTime can you know correspond to each other and so that it can route the the output from your laptop into Soundflower and into QuickTime. So then the QuickTime will be able to pick up your computer's audio whilst you're recording. Now that that's all good for um, playing music through iTunes or anything to do with uh, you know your computer. However, if you're working in a digital audio workstation like FL Studio or Ableton or Logic. Uh, and if you try and do a screen recording, it still won't pick it up. That is because in your digital audio workstation of choice, you need to go to your preferences. So in live, it's um, live preferences. Um, so na navigate to your preferences. And no matter what workstation you're using, um, leave the core audio in there if you're working on Mac. But under the input device, um, I would choose Soundflower just in case. You don't have to, I don't think, but just put it in in case of some bug or whatever. But this is the main one. The audio output device, you need to select Soundflower to channel as well, which means that you will have 
the computer's audio coming out from Ableton, instead of going through your speakers, it goes into the two channel, Soundflower 2 channel, through system preferences, and then into QuickTime through the Soundflower 2 channel uh, input. Um, and then once you've selected that and you start a screen recording here, you can play through the track, but you won't be able to hear anything whilst you're recording. That's because one, your Ableton uh, output, audio output is going to sound, Soundflower instead of your speakers, and two, the system preferences is also, you know, going through Soundflower. So your your computer's audio is not going through the speakers; it's going through Soundflower. Um, so, you know, if you're trying to record like a video, um, screen record a video, or screen record, you know, your iTunes or whatever, it won't you won't be able to hear it whilst you're recording. Uh, and the same with Ableton, if you have your system preferences um, done the way it should be, and that you've changed the live's preferences to the uh, Soundflower cha uh, channel. So there we go. That's it's pretty simple, really. Um, it, there's just it's just three. Number you you change in system preferences. You go and change it to Soundflower two channel. When you're in QuickTime, um, I can't demonstrate it, unfortunately. But if you just select new screen recording and there's a little box with a record button, if you select there's a little drop down next to that, and you select two, Soundflower two channel once you've installed it, and um, it works fine. Uh, bear this in mind, if you're running an operating system of um, Mavericks, uh, OS X Mavericks, or lower than that even, it won't work. Um, unfortunately, it's not really supported for OS X Mavericks. Um, you need to have Yosemite, really. So if you guys are running a Mac that has Mavericks, yeah, it's it's not really going to... I'm, I'm so sorry, but I don't think it's going to work that way. You, you really need to be rocking uh, with Yosemite uh, instead. So, uh, this is obviously a Mac tutorial, not a PC tutorial. Um, so, I mean, PCs, you can use uh, different uh, different things for screen recording, like uh, Bandicam or Fraps. Um, so, that's, that's fine. But, this is uh, obviously just for QuickTime Player. Um, this has been a very common issue, and I had this problem before. So, and I managed to find the right kind of um, help to, to help solve it. And so, I'm just making this video tutorial for you guys so that producers um, can man you manage to screen record their Ableton's or their FL Studio projects or whatever to upload to YouTube, whatever as a preview. So, um, I hope this helped. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to make want me to make any more tutorials. I can see if I can try and do stuff. Um, if you want to check out my Twitter, I'll put my Twitter page in the description, my Facebook page, and also my SoundCloud, so you guys can check out my stuff uh, as well as watch some of my other videos. So thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.